In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate payments using the payment run function, PYR, and produce payment documents. Before you initiate a payment run, you must identify the type of transactions you want to select for payment. For example, you may want to pay all of the outstanding invoices due for payment by today, or only pay your most critical suppliers. You can produce reports such as the aged analysis reports to analyze the outstanding transactions by the due date. For instructions to generate creditors aging report, refer to SOP or the lesson how to run creditors aging report. There are two steps for the payment run. Firstly, you need to produce the detailed payment report, which lists the transaction selected for payment. You can use this report to check that the required payments are produced and alter selected transaction details, for example, to withhold a transaction by setting the allocation marker or amending the due date. Secondly, you can repeat step 1 with proceeding to post payment transactions and match corresponding invoices to payment entries. I will give you the demos for both two steps. To begin with, we'll preview the payment. To do that, access Sun Systems. In the search box, enter CBU then press enter. Enter the business unit code, for example Z99, which you want to post entry then click OK. In the action box, enter PYR, then press enter. Click yes on both warning messages unposted journals exist and unauthorized journals exist. The payment profile code determines the selection criteria for the payment run. You can have different profiles and you must specify one of them for each time you run the payment run function. Now, let's have a quick lesson on setting up the payment profile code using the function payment profiles, PYP. This function is used to define the criteria by which transactions can be selected for payment. Let's take an example of the payment profile code due USD. The payment method you select on a payment profile determines the type of payments. A payment of single payment option is used to produce a separate payment for each transaction that is selected for payment. A payment method of check is typically used for supplier payment runs to produce printed payment documents to pay suppliers, for example checks or remittance advices. A payment method of bank is used where settlement is done by automated settlement systems. There are also payment details that must be set for a supplier in the function suppliers, SUS. The payment method used to pay to supplier must match the payment method specified in payment profiles. Let's get back to the payment run function. In the field labeled profile code, enter profile code and press enter or click OK. In this example, let's select the profile code in payment run as due, USD with the payment method specified as bank payment. If another user is using this profile, a warning message, payment profile in use, please try again later, will be displayed, and this request will be abandoned. In this case, please wait for that user to finish. In the field labeled post transactions, select no to preview the payments. Untick the field labeled Suppress Report Transactions. In the field labeled Base Date for Payment, the cutoff date of the transaction is selected for payment. In the field labeled Base Date for Discount, transactions are selected for payment if they are eligible for a discount on or before this date. In the field labeled Payment Date, the date to be used as the transaction date for transactions generated during this run. The default is today's date. In the field labeled Next Payment Date, the date you expect to run the next payment run using this payment profile. If transactions are still eligible for the same discount on this date, they will not be selected for this run. 
Click OK or press Enter. Leave the field labels posting period blank to accept the default current posting period. To include all eligible creditors for payment, enter C for the field account code, CZZ for the field 2. In this case, we include specific creditor accounts for payment by entering CAA001 for the field account code and CAL999 for the field 2. In the field labeled Bank Details Code, enter the Bank Details Code if required or leave it blank. In the field labeled Bank Subcode, enter the Bank Subcode if required or leave it blank. In the field labeled Payment Account, enter the Bank Account to be used. If you input the Bank Details Code above, this field will display the relevant account for this bank account. In the field labeled Input Discount Account, enter the Discount Account to be used. In the field labeled Output Discount Account, enter the Discount Account to be used. Click OK. On Bank Payments Processing Date, enter the date. Click OK followed by Print. On the Document Format Runtime Parameters screen, Ensure View is ticked to View Report Output without printing. Click OK. Click Print. The Payment Run Listing Report is displayed. Verify expected payments are included. Next, to process payment run to post payment transactions after finishing checking them. Repeat the steps of running the PYR function with the post transactions criteria yes. In the action box, enter PYR, then press enter. Click Yes on both warning messages Unposted journals exist and unauthorized journals exist. In the field labeled Profile Code, choose your profile code for example due USD from the list and press Enter. In the field labeled Post Transactions choose Yes to post payment transactions. Untick the field labeled Suppress Report Transactions. Keep the same value for other criteria as the previous run by click OK or press Enter. Leave the field labels posting period blank to accept the default current posting period. Enter the specific creditor accounts for payment by entering CAA001 for the field account code and CAL999 for the field 2. Keep the same value for other criteria as the previous run. Click OK. On Bank Payments Processing Date, enter the date. Then click OK. Continue clicking OK. Keep the default bank file name. Click OK. Then click Print. On the Document Format Runtime Parameters screen, Ensure View is ticked to View Report Output without printing. Click OK. The posted journal number is displayed on the information pop-up and the status bar. Payment Run Listing Report is displayed. Verify expected payments are included. Payment Documents window appears automatically. In the field Payment Profile Code, the payment profile for a payment generated is displayed for example due, USD. In the Selection Criteria field, enter the range of accounts, currency and payment method to determine the payment documents you want to print, if applicable. For example, I will specify the account code from CAA001 to CAL999. Then, click OK. And click Print. The Document Format Runtime Parameters screen appears. Select the Document Format Code as APD3. Ensure View is ticked to View Report Output without printing. Then, click OK. 
the remittance advice is successfully generated. That's all. The lesson is finished. See you next time.